Hundreds of thousands of patients who've had open heart surgery are now learning some disturbing news. They might have been exposed to very dangerous bacteria during their operation. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel joins us tonight. He's going to explain for us what this means and why some Indiana hospitals are now reaching out to warn patients. 13 Investigates has learned at least 7,000 open heart surgery patients in Indiana are now getting letters from their hospitals. Those letters are warning about a device that was used during their operations. And the letters are actually going out to patients all over the nation. We just received this. It was a nightmare. Craig and Jean Brewster just got one, warning about a device used during Craig's open heart surgery. The device is called a heater cooler unit. And the FDA says it may have become contaminated with a rare bacteria that can cause a life-threatening infection. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control says any hospital that used the device in the past four years should warn its patients. So that's exactly what's happening. Here in Indiana, IU Health, Franciscan Health, and the Rhoda Bush VA Medical Center tell 13 Investigates they all use the heater cooler units to cool patients' blood at their hospitals. IU hospitals in Indianapolis, Lafayette, and Bloomington will be notifying about 6,500 heart patients over the next few weeks. The VA Medical Center has sent letters to 430 patients. And Franciscan Health says it has sent warnings to its heart patients who had operations in Indianapolis, Lafayette, and Crown Point. So far, heater cooler devices have been linked to at least 79 serious infections and 12 deaths in heart surgery patients. And the FDA says this specific type of bacterial infection can show up a long time after surgery. Because these bacteria grow slowly, it can take several months to several years for an NGM infection to develop in a patient and for symptoms to appear. Government health experts say the risk is actually relatively low, but it's still a big concern for the Brewsters and 600,000 other heart surgery patients impacted by the news. As if we haven't dealt with enough. I mean, he has some of the symptoms that they're listing for um, that possible bacteria as far as you know, night sweats and fatigue. It makes me wonder. The warning symptoms of the infection are what you just heard. They include night sweats, muscle aches, weight loss, fatigue, and unexplained fever. Signs heart patients now need to really be looking out for. Again, if you or someone you know had an open heart surgery since 2012, and if the surgery involved one of the devices in question, a letter with more information should be coming in the mail, if it hasn't already. If you want to learn more about the warning, the device, or the infection, you can do that right now at WTHR.com.